So today's video is going to be FPV news. It's not going to be one of those losing my mind series when I go completely off on a company, but we're going to talk about some interesting news that has came up. For example, FR Sky released an update. Ooh, we're going to talk about that update. Also, the Fashark HD system. It's not really news, but it's what I everything I know about it and um, my current theories of how that's going to go into the market or not going to go into the market. Also, DYS went out of business. Now, I've learned that from a comment the other day, and uh, I'm still trying to get more information uh, from the back end to see what really happened and what's going on with DYS. Uh, it's pretty crazy that DYS would actually go out of business. That's pretty insane. So let's start with FR Sky real quick. Now, FR Sky released a new update, or OpenTX team released a 2.3 update. This was released September 27th, a day or two after my video of going off on them. I'm not saying that my video was related, but I'm pretty sure they, they read that and they saw your guys' feedback. Forget what I had to say. And we saw that everybody, all of you guys, were going off on them. So they've released an official update, which is out of the box, or at least out of the update, you will have Crossfire. You'll also have multi-protocol module and some other nice little updates here and there. But those are the two main things. However, D8, it's still hanging up in the air somewhere. So we're going to have to wait to see what's going to happen. But obviously, if you guys bitch hard enough, then we can probably get that back in. So that's what the comments are for. Do that. Now, the Fatshark HD system. Now, what I know about the Fatshark HD system, it, it, back then when it was first kind of announced, that it was just it was just a rebranded uh, that new HD system, the R2J Tech something system. That was the system that Fatshark was taking and probably going to OEM it and do slight modifications to. But I guess when word came out that that's what's going to happen, possibly, I don't know from who, but probably for me, um, then they probably scrapped that whole idea and maybe they wanted to redo it completely so they can actually say they've developed it. This is just a theory of mine, but I'm sure, like 98% sure that it was just going to be a rebrand of the RJ2 tech or whatever it was called. I forgot what the hell it was called. And that one just disappeared. Not a lot of people reviewed. Uh, Joshua Bardwell was sending me one and he got sent back from customs. Um, thank you again, Joshua Bardwell, for the opportunity. And um, that just is out of my control. I couldn't do anything to that. Uh, so they sent that back to him. And um, that was the whole idea. Now, I'm very curious to see what they're going to do. But again, DJI is starting to have a really good, strong foothold. And it also, you know, it's um, refreshing the whole market from what I've seen. And um, it's, it's a really nice hype train in a way. And I really want to get my hands on it, but um, I still can't afford it, to be honest. So it's taking me a little bit of time because I've invested in a new business, which I'll show you guys very soon. Everything, my costs, my profits and everything. And uh, it's currently still in progress right now. And you guys will see that in a later video if you guys are interested in that. Now, also, DYS went went out of business. Now this is, I don't want to say it was kind of, you know, obvious that it was going to go out of business. They pr produced good products and some really shitty products. Um, you know, I've had firsthand uh, experience with the shitty products they produced and I wasn't really never, I was never really a fan of their motors. Their motors always felt to me very underpowered. But a lot of people liked them because they were smooth. But I don't remember if they were efficient or not. I don't really remember that much uh, information about them. But the brand never really sank into me. And the reason for that is, if you remember three years ago, they released that F4 all-in-one Omnibus flight controller. It was terrible. It was Oh, it was hideous. Uh, so many problems. Uh, so many duds out of the box. It was just an absolute nightmare to work with. I think that was one of their first big hits. Now, I'm still trying to figure out more information about why the company closed. Obviously, there's no sales, but um, something happened, and I'm going to do my best to get that information. I'll probably be up on a Losing My Mind episode or something. But yeah, so they've closed. Um, also, their Sun Motors, whatever they were, those budget line motors, uh, I got duds when I first received mine, so that the review never really came out because there was nothing for me to fly. I was still waiting for replacements to actually install and go test but never really happened. So that's also one thing. So they do have some questionable quality here and there. But at the end of the day, I remember the DYS Aria ESCs was one of the best ESCs they've released back then. But a lot of companies easily surpassed that as time went by. But it's still a good ESC. The, D the first DYS Arias, I know a lot of people are actually still using those um, ESCs. So those are great. Um, what else do we have? Also, the Slims are pretty decent, but I guess now the company's possibly shut down. I'm not sure that it's fully shut down, but I'm guessing they're taking a big hit because we really don't see any more innovation from DYS nor new motors. Um, and I, I don't know what's going on. Someone's taking that huge ass market share, but I'm pretty sure it's iFly and Mumba um, because, you know, it just doesn't make sense to pay 20 bucks for a motor anymore. Um, so yeah, I think that's what's going on. Maybe $16 maximum. I mean, 
probably pay 20 bucks if you're getting a T motor, but it's really, uh, it, it makes you think twice because anyways, you're going to break the motor, but then it comes down to the person's use case. But most average users would be like, okay, why the hell am I going to pay 20 bucks when this $10 motor performs as good as that? And anyways, I'm going to break it. So in the long run, it's a much cheaper cost. Um, so I think that's what's really going on, the motors, because DYS was just really producing more motors than anything, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but all I remember from DYS are just motors, nothing else. And um, I always felt them underpowered, not that they're bad or anything, just for me, they always felt very underpowered for some reason. And a lot of people like them. They say they're really smooth, they're really great. Some people, some people don't like anything, you know. Some people don't like this, some people like that, I don't know. But for me, they were underpowered. I'm not saying I don't like them, but they were just underpowered and I never really liked them that much. Uh, I'd prefer something else usually. So DYS shut down. On, and there's a lot of other companies that actually shut down too. I should make a list of those. But I, I know for sure a couple companies that are not going to be going away. Hollybro. Um, what do we have? Flywoo is doing very well. iFly ain't going anywhere anytime soon. They're just releasing beast after beast after beast. Uh, what else do we have? Maytech. Maytech is not going anywhere. Maytech is their own in-house manufacturer, designer, developers, research development, everything. Maytech doesn't even need marketing. You know, Maytech just has its own like high. I, I put Maytech in a, in a special class in this industry because it does everything by itself. And it had that one big fuck up. You guys remember that one? With the Maytech F405 with the ICM gyro, with the yacht twitches. That was just one of the worst things that ever happened to Maytech. Uh, but after that, they've learned from that and you don't see anything. It was just that one mistake. It almost really, it really hurt them, I guess. I don't know how bad it hurt them. I'll try to figure that out. But um, it was it was pretty devastating. I mean, even for me, I had that issue. And, uh, but they fixed it, everything up after that and now they're just back in the game. And um, we're still waiting for that one wire ESC. So basically you control a four, four they made it four in one ESC that's controlled through one wire, but it is uh, experimental software. It's their own firmware. Uh, but if they do it right, they could probably license it also to other companies. Since they're in China, they could probably even do it cheaper than BL Holly 32. But I don't know when that ESC is coming out, and um, hopefully they didn't abandon it. It's 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 a lot of work to get that perfect. You know, you got to make sure the ESC is running great because you know if the ESC goes bad, you're ruining a lot of quadcopters, and um, I don't think they want to ruin your reputation just yet because uh, they're actually doing really really well. So uh, we want to. Uh, make sure they, they stay up there because, you know, we don't want that company to drop and close because they create some of the best premium components. They put thought into their voltage regulators. They put thought into the components. They, 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 they do it right. They really do it right. So that's a huge thing about Maytech. So if you're ever in doubt, just go buy a Maytech for a flight controller. And uh, they specialize in flight controls. I mean, that's like their specialty, PDBs and flight controllers. So they've mastered that. So you can't go wrong with going with Maytech. Airbot mass produces so many that, you know, most of the time, sometimes you'll have a dud here and there. But overall, they are innovating newer FETs and newer stuff. And it's really nice because I think Airbot has a direct connection with the BL Heli 32 guys. And um, they work together to uh, produce things, which is really great also for the for the community and for the hobby. And um, everything's going out pretty great here so far. So today's actually a pretty good day for news, I would say. Uh, Sky Zone is doing pretty well. There's also a new release of a couple new things I don't have exact information on and uh, I'll try to get more info on that and what else do we have? And I think Eoshin and Banggood took my idea which uh, we'll probably see it later on in the market, but that's totally fine. The market needed it. I have no problem. I give them the exact specs of what needs to be done. And um, yeah, it's okay. You guys are going to benefit from that. Yeah, Flywoo has a couple new stuff that are being released. They actually sent me this without even me knowing. I just got a package. I don't know where it is. It has three flight controllers. I don't know if I'm supposed to say anything, but it has a 20 by 20 and two 30 by 30s. Maybe the two 30 by 30s are out by now, but the 20 by 20 I don't think is out. It's a really nice 20 by 20 actually. I uh, still haven't tested any, still haven't tested it, don't have documentation on it, but I'll get into that probably next week or so. Uh, so we're getting a lot of new stuff being released also. Nothing too, too crazy. I mean, nothing um, so innovative just yet, but you know, we'll just wait and see what's going to happen. Yeah, and if you guys want me to cover anything else, let me know down in the comment section. Make sure you tell FR Scott how you feel about the D8 protocol and, um, you know, with passion. Let them know with passion. Very nicely, very calmly, but with passion. Tell them how you feel because I also would love it back. I don't want to have to jump through hoops of the multi-protocol module. But again, FR Sky is taking a step in the right direction. And again, FR Sky, this is a message from me to you. If you bring back the D8, you will gain everybody's trust back, okay, kind of, not fully, 
but you're still going to keep your market share and don't worry about jumper taking your market share because you basically annihilated it i mean i don't even know where to buy one from now so just just be good with us i mean we're good with you so just be good with us and they also have a re uh, return program i think now double check this email fr sky for the r9 system because the r9 system now uh, the newer R9 receivers will not work on the older R9 modules. So there is some kind of a return program that you could do where you return it and then they give you something. So I'm not sure how that works, but you guys email them if you have those. I'll probably email them also and have this in a later video. And um, I'm probably planning on making a dedicated video message just to FR Sky here. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, to support the channel, make sure you click every goddamn link down below and come join me on Patreon. I have a FR Sky X9D Plus 2019 giveaway in a couple days, and also the Sky Zone OLEDs, and also a quadcopter and some other things as well. And you also get access to my secret shop, and you also get my project files, everything, my schematics, my project files. So come join me on Patreon, support this goddamn channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.